So what we're doing now is changing the bungee. Uh, this is a 680 FP uh, that all the twin commanders uh, have some sort of bungee on here. So I just want to kind of show what I'm doing. Um, so what I've already replaced the one over here on this side. Um, it took a little bit of experimenting, but so there's a, 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 a lock uh, pin here that you, you take off a little washer. Um, and then what, what you can do and it's actually pretty easy. Um, I've got a long screwdriver here, um, a crowbar. I tried a crowbar and you can see the, the dirt on here from the crowbar. Um, the crowbar is a little bit too big of a diameter um, to do this because you have to pull it back out. Um, but basically what I, what I did is I stuck the, the screwdriver down in between the, the pulley and uh, there are the roller and there's you can see down here there's a, a little bit of a lip on the bottom. And so I just stuck it in, pulled it down, got it off the, the roller. Um, I've already moved, removed the one over here so you can kind of see um, what it is. Um, but it basically, it has uh, two pieces here. Um, this, this piece actually goes on first. Um, now the one over there had a washer in there, I guess. You want this to be snug from end to end. This pin actually slides all the way through, so you have to be careful when you're pushing everything together that you don't push it off the other side. Um, but then you've got this roller uh, that goes on here, and then the the clamp. Um, and there's a there's a little groove in here that that you put that that clamp in. Um, the uh, and then just put grease on on here to to get this because you want this to actually roll. Uh, good in here. Now the top piece actually, and I, I'll try to get this up out of the way so you can see it. The top piece actually has a pin. So there's a hole on both sides. You just drive that pin out. This center piece will come out and then this drops off. Um, again, you want to grease that up when you put it back together because you want these things to roll as freely as possible. Um, but to put the thing back on, uh, and I'll kind of I'll try to videotape it here in a minute, but you basically put put the the new shock cord on um, Or this really in the shock cord, but the bungee cord um, you put it on first put this pin in uh, drive your pin back through um, You know make sure that this thing is turning. Okay, um, and then you put this this roller back on down here um, and then um, and it takes a good bit of force, but it really is a lot easier than I thought it would be um, stick your screwdriver in here and under here and then just pull it straight down and around the the pulley and again I'll I'll try to videotape that so that you can see how it goes back on but um, The one over here was actually exceptionally easy to do so hopefully the, the other three will be the same